In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the nose cone for the rocket design that you're going to be doing. And we will have this shape, and we'll have this hole in the bottom filleted here and angled up here, make it look nice like a nose cone. Notice we, what kind of features we have. We don't have too many features, but um, I, what I'm going to do right now is actually roll this back so you can see the very first one. That went a little too far. There we go. Um, our original sketch is going to be just of a cylinder. We're going to add a few things in, and then we'll finish it out. All right, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go to New, Part. One thing that you need to be sure that you do on this is go to Options, go to Document Properties, Units, and change the units from millimeters to inches because all this will be in inches. And also, let's change our decimal places in this case to four decimal places instead of the two that was selected. All righty. Now we've got some inches going on. Let's begin with our first sketch. In this case, and you need to be absolutely sure that you do this correctly, always, you don't want to start on a bad foot, choose the correct plane, which we'll be using as the top plane. There's our, our origin. Let's choose circle. Begin from the origin. Come out. Doesn't really matter how big you make it because we're going to dimension it anyway. Choose dimension. Mine says 3 inches, so it doesn't really matter right now because I'm going to change it to 7 eighths of an inch. 7 divided by 8. Now notice when I do, not only does the model become fully defined, it's shown black, and also says fully defined here, uh, that the distance is 0 .8750, which is equal to 7 eighths of an inch. All right, I'm going to kind of just kind of bring that in a little closer so we can see it good and then zoom in with my scroll wheel. Exit to sketch. Now we've got our circle. It's time to extrude it. How far do we extrude it? In this case, 1.5 inches. Uh, you could choose the other direction. Doesn't really matter in this case. I'm going to just keep it uh, normally going up. Check. All right, that looks good, but it doesn't look like wood. Looks like the regular part file that SolidWorks makes. We're going to change the material. I'm going to choose material, then right click and edit the material. Close out my steel, open up my wood, choose pine. Notice that as we did that, the density is uh, pre slugged as 340. Yours should be the same there. You won't be able to change it. And that's because uh, pine has a density of 340 kilograms per, I, I think that's meters cubed, is how you read that. Let's hit apply and close. You can see now our part is wood. Next, let's do a fillet on the bottom. I'm going to choose fillet. Choose this bottom. Now, we're, what we're going to, what we're reason we're doing this fillet is because you're going to round your nose cone to fit down in your body tube, and you don't want it to chafe, so that's why you're going to round it over. You could change the size to, for example, 0.15, and you can see how that would update and how that looks. For right now, let's leave it at 0.1. 0.1. And if yours is not previewing, be sure you get full preview selected. Check. Looks nice. Now let's do another sketch while working on the bottom. Choose circle. Be sure that we have this face selected. And then we're going to draw a circle right in the middle. Come out. Really don't matter how far. You just don't want to go way out as long as it's in here. Smart dimension. We need to define it. Let's make this, because we're going to be drilling this with a 3 8 drill bit. So j put in there 3 8 We've got that. And now it's time to do a little cut. Exit the sketch. Extrude that cut. And we don't want to go that far. That's, all, that's almost all the way through. We want to keep a blind in condition at a distance of also 3 8 of an inch. And let, let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that looks very nice. Check. Okay, now we've got a hole 3 eighths of an inch. The reason for this hole, you, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your shock cord uh, that will attach your nose cone to your rocket body tube and you'll glue it in in this hole. So that's what the hole's there for. You could also change the view if you wanted to see it without those edges. It doesn't really matter in this case. 
Now we're going to do something new here. This is only 1.5 inches long. We're going to add another half an inch up and create a loft. And to do that, we're going to need a plane. And, you know, we've got the regular planes, the front, the top, and the right side. But I need a plane up here. So we're going to be creating reference geometry. And this is something I use quite often. Reference geometry, we're going to be creating a plane. Okay. Uh, our first reference point will be the top of it right here. And you can see what we're doing is we're creating a plane. Be sure that your plane right here is set 0.5 inches away. Uh, if you flip it, you can see it moves it down, but we want to go up. So be sure yours looks just like mine, that there's a plane sitting 0.5 or half an inch above the rocket nose cone. Hit check. Now what we can do, since we have that plane labeled plane 1, we can draw on it, which is exactly what we need to do. So we need to do a sketch. And oddly enough, we're just going to do one little thing on this plane. We're just going to draw a point. That's it. Grab a point. Be sure we're drawing on the plane, right there on the origin. Put a point. That's it. Exit the sketch. And you think, well, what in the world was that point needed for? Oh, you're going to see now, because we definitely need that point. That's going to be the very tip of the rocket nose cone. Now that we've got that, I'm going to go to Features, Create a Loft. Here it is. I'm going to choose this plane. And you can see it automatically goes to that point. Okay, Right there, the point and that face. And you can see how that's, what that's kind of creating there. That's going to look great check and now we've got that point now I think I think you understand to get this point we need that we need to draw that little point and to draw that little point we need the plane and so we need everything there now that plane is humongous and and it's kind of in the way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to plane right click I'm not gonna delete it I'm just gonna hide it now I don't have to look at it okay looking good just one more step and we're gonna have this nose cone knocked out we're gonna do a little fillet around the edge here. Now that's not much of a fillet, 0.1 inches. Let's see how, how does 0.5 inches look. Got full preview on, better. Let's see, one inch, better. 1.5, crazy. How about two? Can't even go there, two's too much. Let's put ours at 1.25 and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit check. There we go. That's our nose cone. If you wanted to, uh, if you if we wanted to change any of the fillets, it'd be easy to do. We just right click, choose Edit, and could easily edit our fillets. But I think what we've got there is right. This would be a great nose cone. Be sure that your nose cone has the same features that mine has, and we will save this. I'll go to Save As. Be sure you save yours in the correct location. I've got mine listed as Rocket Parts. What a great uh, file name, and I'm gonna name mine nose cone. I suggest that for you, nose cone. And notice I already have one file called nose cone. So when I hit save, it's going to say, do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. Yours shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have that problem. Actually, since I've got it open, I can't name it the same. So I'm going to call it nose cone 2. You should be able to just call yours nose cone. All right. My file is saved. Because I can see there's my, there's my other nose cone. Looking good. Uh, also, we'll need to create the body tube, fins, and everything else, and we'll assemble our rocket together and get ready to actually build it back in the shop.